You know, something else that happened between the last time I talked to you and now is there was an insurrection. Uh, yes. uh, speaking of the right uh, in and you you were there front row seats. I mean, ex like, tell me briefly, sort of like, where were you? And also, like, how is it now to be legislating with some people who still have not sort of come to Jesus, so to speak, as to, in, in terms of how um, what a what a devastating and dark moment and illegal you know, action that was. I mean, you're alongside, you know, congressmen who actively stoked and fanned the flames of that event. Yeah, um, I, I think it's downplayed way too much. Like we don't talk about it nearly enough. Like that was an attack on everything we believe from within, from our own people, right? Yeah. From other uh, Americans. So it was it was scary. It could have been much, much worse. I mean, it was yeah. bad, but it could have been way, way worse if they were more prepared and, and, and more uh, more sinister with, with what they did. I mean, they could have burned the whole place down, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's funny. It's interesting because they're almost like the ones who fan the flames and support that kind of thing. They're almost unseen and unheard. They're almost invisible. Mm. Uh, we don't even, I don't even engage with them. I don't even, I rarely look in their direction um, because they, not only is are there ideological beliefs, but I believe that those people want to do me harm. Mm. And if, if, if killing me and my family and, and others like me will give them power, they will do that. So I can't even engage with them or, or even look at them. And then when you think about it, it's like, damn, you know, I've always wanted to like drive through the country, just travel the country and and, and see different corners of the country. And now I'm like, shit, you know, I, I really can't go there or I really should not go there. Or anywhere where where there's money flowing into majority Taylor Green, like I can't go in that area <laughs> because it's really, really bananas. Um, so this is like this is why we have to both maintain. Um, major the majority in the House and Senate next year, but also we have to shift paradigms and change the American mindset as well, because Donald Trump just destroyed our sense of reality, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then there now there are people piggybacking on that. So it, it's uh, you know I hope we continue to engage each other in a way that roots us in reality and roots us in humanity. Um, that that's that's the that's the other part of my work as well. Do you feel like you know, other than the FBI sort of going after some of the people who did storm the Capitol, um, do you feel like Congress is taking January sixth seriously? You know, there's a I know there's a number of commissions. I know there's interviews going on right now. Obviously, subpoenas of former Trump officials. Um, what do you want to see happen? I, Representative uh, Cory Bush does have, you know, introduced, a, 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 I believe, a piece of legislation that said, look, we need to kick the the people like Representative Gosar, Representative uh, Andy Biggs and these people who were like part of the Stop the Steal stuff. Kick them out. This is mm -hmm. a, a, unconstitutional. But anyway, I, we know that's not going to happen. But, um, <laughs> you know, any thoughts on what yeah. you want to yeah, see? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we, we formed a commission. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the commission is gonna gonna do its work, and you know whatever the findings are, I hope those findings are transparent and people are held accountable. Yeah. What historically kind of happens with commissions is there's not really enough transparency. There's not really enough education on exactly what the findings uh, were, and then accountability is 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 minimal, right? In 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 many ways. So. You know, in New York City, you, you get caught jumping the turnstile, you might spend weeks or months on Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? And and unfortunately in our in our society, if you commit some type of political crime or 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 Wall Street crime, there's not really much accountability. So I'm hoping for transparency, I'm hoping for accountability. Um but if but you even, jump over Nancy Pelosi's desk, there is less but, accountability. But, but even but even deeper than that, I mean, we we already even before this, there was there were reports of FBI, um, FBI had reports of of white supremacist infiltration in law enforcement across the country, and 
how many people even knew about that or are aware of that? And what are we doing about that right now? You know, how many of us in Congress are looking the other way and allowing that stuff to just exist? You know, so that's that's what we're up against. And that's what we're trying to build power across the country to change. We just talked about actually the FBI raid on the you know NYPD's um, union hall and and those documents and then the resignation of the head of the U NYPD's union uh, police union. Yeah, I mean that to be continued. We will see, but there are whispers that potentially there was a far right extremist element um, to the police union, which of course I think I mean you know very well is not that is not unbelievable at all. Well, the NYPD police union endorsed Donald Trump in the last election, right? So, you know, that that was huge. And and this is the thing, right? Because we get into these conversations and people, you know, want to call us anti-police and all that. No one's anti-police. We're, we're, we're pro-accountability, right? Like when, when you hold a badge, when you carry a gun, you are you are given a certain amount of power and esteem and responsibility in our society. And you have to meet the, meet those demands, the demands of that standard. And if you don't, you need to be held accountable for that. And unfortunately, time and time again, we see law enforcement officers not held accountable for things. So, it, it, you know, we just need to, again, if we're going to be a healthy, thriving democracy for all, there just needs to be kosher behavior and accountability across the board. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.